Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of John, chapter 11, verses 17 through 37, and reads as follows. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, Son of God, who is to come into the world. After she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house, comforting her, noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord. They replied, Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of this said, some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind men have kept this man from dying? Amen. So we come up when Jesus meets Mary and Martha. He's going back to um, see them because Lazarus had died. So Jesus came and he found that G Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Um, now Bethany was near Jerusalem, but about two miles away, and many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary was sitting in the house. Then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Woo, powerful. So, Jesus shows up and, excuse me, Lazarus had been in a grave in the tomb for four days. Now, they tell you how close Bethany was, and it was less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. So there's some, you know, some sorrow going on. But Jesus waited four days because of the superstition that the Jews had. Um, they set up the soul stayed near the grave for, for three days, hoping to return to the body. Um, so it was accepted. Um in their mind, after four days, a body couldn't be resurrected, that it would not come out. And Jesus, I love it, show, he had to show them who truly controls things. Man has superstitions and traditions, but it does not meet God's truth and God's ways. We always try to do our way and think it's a higher way, but in this case, it's not. Many of the Jews who joined the women around Mary and Martha, um, and they just came by the people around um, to join in in their sorrow, mourning. You know, they were sad, as we all would be. Mary was sitting in the house, um, and she just was probably sitting there, sorrow, you know, hurting and distressed, and because she was hurting about her brother. Um, and she was staying there. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Martha honestly stated this, her disappointment in Jesus' late arrival. 
she was she was saying, hey, if you would have been here, it wouldn't have happened. But when she left out, she 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 had faith that if he would have been there, but when she left out, is now where is your faith because he wasn't there? He could have healed her brother if he would have been there, but he also could have healed your brother from not being there. So you're having some doubt here. She didn't probably even think that he was going to raise Lazarus, but Jesus was working. And as he always did, as he told the disciples before he came to the situation, this is going to be for the glory of God. And death wasn't a big thing to Jesus. And he was about to show him. Even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Now, this was tricky because Martha wasn't sure that Jesus was going to raise her brother. But even in her disappointment, even in her lack of, and I don't even know sometimes what I want to call it lack of, but I'm going to say lack of faith here. She said, even now I know that whatever you ask of God. So she knew how good his relationship was the Lord's, was with the Lord. She, she said, even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I know that you have a better relationship and a direct relationship, and you can ask of the Lord what you will, and it will be done. And the problem was, did you just believe that Jesus, even with Lazarus being dead, even with the superstition of the Jewish people being four days, even if he was in the grave and started decaying, do you believe that Jesus can do what Jesus does? So, Jesus says to her, your brother will rise again, Martha, will rise again. And Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. This is important. So Jesus said to her, this is important, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. And then he goes, <coughs> excuse me, do you believe this? He puts it to a question to her. And she said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the son of God, who is to come into the world. She acknowledges who he is. She believes. And when he says your brother will rise again, Martha took it all the way to the last day of judgment. And we probably all would have. She didn't have a thought that Jesus would bring him back now or that things could happen. So we all probably would have said, you know, Lord, we know that in the day of judgment that we all will be resurrected and those that believe in you and everything else we normally say. But the thought of now probably didn't cross her mind. So Jesus, when he told her, meant that Lazarus would rise again right now. And then he says, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at that last day. But Jesus was saying, now, it'll happen now. So Jesus clarifies something. He says, I am the resurrection and life. Jesus didn't claim to have it. He was it. He understood everything. And this death and this resurrection and this life, Jesus knew all about this. This was not a secret to him. And he said that. He, and he emphatically told her, I am the resurrection and life. To know me is to know resurrection and life. Or in short, to have Jesus is to have resurrection and life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So Jesus is telling Martha, hey, trust me. I am the source. And I... I can defeat death. I will defeat death. I have defeated death. But he kept it in human form and 
this death was fearful to Martha and Mary. They were saddened. And even if he wouldn't have done it then, if you believe in Christ, you will never die. You are asleep in Christ. But this was going to happen right now. So Jesus made a statement when he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, shall live. And truth be told, only God could say such a thing. Uh-oh. So what does Jesus say next? Do you believe this? And Jesus put it to her. Do you or do you not believe this? And she had to believe it in order for things to happen for her. And the disciples were seeing some things and hearing some things. So she must believe Jesus was who he said he was because she told him. And he was really saying, understand this. Martha, understand this. You don't know the secrets that I know. So understand who I am and what I can do. But she she answered, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is come into the world. And I believe she was emphatic about it. I believe, I believe. And she acknowledged who he was. So what's he do? And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, sister, saying, The teacher, with a capital T, has come and is calling for you. As soon as she heard, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet even made it into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews who were with her in the house and comforting her, when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, saying, She is going to the tomb to weep there. Then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So she went in her way and secretly called Mary to her. She told exactly why. We aren't told exactly why she went, okay? But she went. The teacher has come. Um, she speaks to knowing that Jesus is the true teacher. The only teacher. He was teaching them a lesson here even. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Mary, Martha told Mary that Jesus was asking for her. And he was. Or he was pretty much saying, Mary, come to me. Come see me. I'm here. You know I love you, Martha and Lazarus. Come to me. So my brother would not have died. Oof. I would like to, to just say that they were hurting. So they, they, they were telling them, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But they could have said, and their faith also, their faith walk, Jesus, we know if you would have been here, he would not have died. This is a hard one because they're in mourning, but it sounds like their faith is, is moving as it's growing. And we need it to grow. We want it to grow, and it is. I love it. So when you get to it, when Jesus saw her weeping, it, it moved Jesus. Jesus has compassion for us. He loves us. And they see the tears that we cry. And he knew that she would, they were hurting. And even the Jews that came with him were weeping. So they didn't even hold back the tears. It was the morning time. They were hurting. So Jesus saw her weeping and Jesus wept. See, in my mind, Mary and Martha and the Jews were weeping because of the fact that somebody had died. And 
when Jesus felt that it was in his spirit, he groaned in the spirit, and he was troubled. And then you describe Jesus when he wept in 1136. It says Jesus wept. But this was because Jesus was moved. He was feeling it. He was human still. And he loved them. And he had compassion for them. And he, he expressed it. At times I used to say, was he weeping because their faith was short? But Jesus loved them. And they knew him. So Jesus wept. He shared in their grief. He showed them that he was still with them. And then he said, I can do something about that grief. I have sympathy for you. There are things that I can do to help you. And after he groaned and, and wept himself, he was moved. Ooh, man. And then what does Jesus do? Jesus wept, and the Jews said, uh-oh, now here's another thing. We get to see his love and compassion for us. The disciples learned about it. The Jews learned about it. Martha and Mary learned about it. They got to see him hurting for us, his compassion for us. And that's a great lesson there in itself, just so you can learn that we are to be compassionate to others. And this was definitely a time of trouble and need and compassion. And Jesus showed it. And it says, then the Jews said, see how he loved him? Wow. But some of them said, could not he who opened eyes of the blind men have kept this man from dying? Uh-oh. You know of the work, and now you inquire about, is there more work that he could have done? And we'll get to that. Amen.